Hi everyone, Anthony here from the Faculty of Apps with another quick tip for your Apple devices. And today we're looking at emojis. You can add an emoji to any document or text-based app on your Mac and there are several ways to do so. Apple's recommended method, which of course works in all Apple applications, as well as many third-party apps, is to press Control, Command and Spacebar on your keyboard simultaneously. This will display the character viewer and you can select your emoji from the list. If this shortcut seems a little bit cumbersome, and frankly I think it is, there is a quicker alternative. Open Settings, choose Keyboard from the menu, and here you can enable this option to use your FN key to display the character viewer. So now when you're applying to a message or typing an email, rather than hitting Control, Command and Spacebar, you can just hit the FN key and you'll get the same result. If you're looking for an even quicker method, you might want to try text replacements. Text replacements will automatically replace a few typed characters with a longer sentence, or in this case, with an emoji. So for example, if I add a new text replacement, I can use the characters TUP to refer to the thumbs up emoji. I'll press the FN key or Control, Command and Spacebar to bring up my list of emojis, and I'll add the thumbs up emoji as the replacement text. So now when replying to a message, I can type TUP and it will automatically replace my text with a thumbs up. If I type NW, it'll change it for no worries. One final thing, if you're a Google Docs user like myself, annoyingly, none of these shortcuts I've mentioned work when you're writing in Google Docs. Instead, Google has its own shortcut, which is just to use the colon key. Pressing colon will bring up a list of emojis and you can choose the one you want from the list. So that is how to add emojis on Mac. If you found the video useful, I'd appreciate you giving me a like and hitting subscribe for lots more quick tips on all your Apple devices. Until next time, my name is Anthony. Thank you very much for watching.